Welcome friends to this video we're going to be drawing cylinders in one point perspective. We're going to be drawing this from different angles. Let's first take a look at the ellipses and the size and angle in which we're going to draw them. So what I have here on the screen is imagine if you have a cylinder. I'm going to use this toilet paper roll as an example. And if you're looking at it straight on you're going to see a circle. If you start to turn it up then that circle is going to get a little bit smaller and you keep going it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller until it disappears when you're vertical same thing if you're going down it's going to get smaller 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 until it disappears so that's what i'm representing here and you can also consider the other direction when you go off to the side smaller 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 until it disappears or the other direction smaller smaller until it disappears what we're going to do is draw some cylinders at different angles and we're going to start by using the ellipse so first we're going to build the ellipse and then the rest of the cylinder and i'll do this at different angles in one point perspective let's go ahead and start that by i will hide this layer and we'll start anew over here i'm going to do one on the right that's turned furthest away from us a couple things to note if i come up here to the wrench and turn on drawing guide and edit drawing guide i'm going to turn on the one point perspective that'll give us the guidelines and I'll also turn on assisted drawing and that will allow us to snap to those guidelines to make it a little bit easier first i'll start by drawing a rectangle it's going to be fairly narrow because the ellipse and the cylinder is going to be turned away from us and then it's going to be fairly long in size because the further it's turned away the longer the cylinder is so i'm going to carry out these vanishing points quite a bit a ways and then now i can draw the back side of our cylinder with another rectangle using those vanishing points now that we have the rectangle we can go ahead and start drawing the guidelines so if i come up here i'm going to turn off the drawing assist now in order to draw the ellipse i'm going to have an x so corner to corner this will give us our center point then we can draw in the horizontal center line and the vertical center line now we have the center of each side of the rectangle so let's go ahead and draw our, our ellipse here if i create a new layer i'm going to change colors so we can hide these construction lines later so what i'll do is go from each one of these center lines and i'll create an ellipse here procreate automatically does this for me makes it much more simple so i can go ahead and do the same thing here on the back if you want to be completely precise i'd recommend you could do the construction time construction lines each time let's go ahead and connect both of these ellipses to make our cylinder and then I'm going to hide the part of it. the ellipse will be on the back side of the cylinder and then I'll hide this layer of the construction lines and you can kind of see what that would look like if it was turned further away from us now let's go ahead and do another one this time we're going to do it where it's turned closer to us a couple things to think about here is if I wanted to make this in the same perspective size there's a way that i can do that and also if i want to rotate it in the exact same size i can do that as well so you have to change your grid and you also have to scale it in perspective i'm not going to do that for this video because it'll be much more complicated but i have a couple videos i'll reference in the description that if you want to try that out you're more than welcome to it is going to be more difficult for beginners so for the sake of this video we're going to keep it fairly simple and draw an arbitrary size. So let's go back and do this one again. And this time I'm gonna bring it closer to the vanishing point because it's actually gonna be shorter. So let's show you what that looks like. I am going to turn drawing guide back on and I will draw a wider rectangle this time then my vanishing points this time the rectangle 
on the back side will actually be behind and you can already start to see that it's going to be much more short foreshortened on the length and now we'll start to draw our ellipse here And I can connect there and there's really not, there's not much to erase for guidelines because if we hide them, we're going to actually see the inside of our cylinder here. So that's kind of what it would look like as a closer, the ellipse is going to be bigger and then the length is going to be more foreshortened. I'm going to draw a couple more that on the vertical top and the bottom, I'm going to do these in time lapse just so you can kind of get an idea of what those would look like. There's a couple more cylinders in the vertical, above the horizon and below the horizon. Hopefully this helps you kind of visualize what a cylinder would look like when you're rotating it in space. As always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, I would love to hear your feedback. And I am going to continue working on my construction, my form of the basic shapes as it will help build on our fundamentals when we're drawing. And I'm going to be working on improving my figures. So make sure you subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on any of those videos I'll be creating soon. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. See you next time.